Hi guys, welcome back. This is a follow-up from the last video. This is the 10-man, 10-man ration pack. This is massive as well. Look at the size of that. <laughs> it doesn't even fit on my table, so I've got two stools there. So let's get in, let's get straight into it. Let's see what it's about. I haven't opened this myself yet, so it's menu. Menuly again, boy, blind it last one. I have no idea what is inside. Right, so firstly, we have boxes inside a box. Oh, that didn't go the way I wanted it to go. I've opened it upside down. <laughs> I've opened it upside down. Right. Never mind, straight in the way there. Don't need that. Right, oh dear. I've opened it upside down. <laughs> right, it doesn't matter. Firstly, a little can opener. On the military style, little caving can openers. We have bin bags, I think. Plastic bags, what are these? So we've got. Right, one bag, big plastic bag, that's, that could come in handy, couldn't it? Especially for rubbish and stuff, or for other uses, I suppose. This sort of stuff, look at what's in here now. This is ideal for like preppers. Right, another one or two of them bags in there. Put the bin bags. Um, put them behind me, because I want to show you this. Right, so first I've opened this upside down, it's all upside down in the box. <sighs> Never mind, we're gonna have a look. Firstly, right, we have margarine in a tin. So we have margarine in a tin. Pork sausages and rapeseed oil. That sounds interesting. Empty contents into a sauce, saucepan, heat gently while stirring until contents are. Just whack it in a pan and heat it up. Another one of them pork sausages in rapeseed oil. Oh, chocolate sponge cake in a tin. Do you remember them? Ah, oh, I just chuck the tin in the pan, don't you? If I remember rightly. Pierce lid, place on the, the can in a saucepan, a boil and water, bring it to the boil, simmer for 40 minutes. So it's two of them. Two chocolate sponges. For ten people, there's going to be a fight. <laughs> um, two tins of sweet corn. So I may want to say this looks ideal for a prepper. Chicken in brine. All right, so drain brine and use how required. So you could, I suppose you could boil that, you could um, fry it or whatever. So another chicken. Ring pulls on them ones as well, so no need for the little tin opener. Oh, three tins of chicken. Four tins of chicken. <laughs> Five tins of chicken. We're having chicken. Oh wow, they'd, they'd be brilliant for like a prep or somebody like that. Man. That's brilliant. Um, corned beef, I love corned beef, survival food, semi-skinned milk, balti sauce, some sort of balti chicken maybe, garlic powder, hot chocolate drink, regular flavour, I know I've had the ch chocolate orange one and stuff with the milky stuff. Um, instant mashed potato with skim milk. Just add it to water by the sounds of it. Dried onions. Strong white wheat flour. 
Big bag of sugar. Gonna throw any through. One little packet here, what are these? Try G's. Could you make bread with the flour and stuff? Salt. Bicarbonated soda, you can make bread. White pepper. Sweets now, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Ten bags of sweets. I've had these sweets before, they're spot on. Lemon flavoured sweets, just like a ice column glass sweets, like a fruit drop. The other box, and we're trying to open this one upside down. There we go, really nice handles, look. Right, so what we'll do, we'll move that for now. So I want to try and get all this on this little tiny table of mine. Um, oh, there's a lot of gear in here, isn't there? So this is a 24 hour pack for 10 people. Right. Dried mixed herbs. Instant custard mix. Chloe chocolate cake. Barbecue season. Seasoning. Barbecue seasoning. That's a big bag of energy drink. Fruit flavoured drink, powder tropical. Box of tea bags, 40 tea bags. Apricot jam. That would go with the bread you could make with the flour and yeast, wouldn't it? Big bag of pasta, like the shelf, no, it's not the shelf type. Big bag of pasta. Keeps on giving. Um, freeze dried coffees, coffee granules, egg substitute. So I'm guessing that's more like a um, guess that'll be like scrambled egg, I imagine, or an omelet or something like that. Bag of porridge oats. Oh wow, where am I going to put all this? <laughs> Let me uh, organise myself. Not quite sure what I was expecting. <laughs> right. Oh wow. Can we count five tins of chicken before? There's another one. And another, two, and another, three. Well, so we've got, I think there's, nine cans of chicken. I'll have to double check that, I've got confused now. Vape seed oil. Tin of beans, another tin of beans. Oh, proper food, proper survival food. I love it. Two tins of spam. Happy cow. Australian processed cheese. Oh, that's interesting. There's cheese and a can. Oh, I'll, have to, I'll have to do a video I open this and see what that's like. Definitely, definitely. Oh. 
and I'm afraid to throw you out tins of the chocolate sponge pudding. So it's five tins of that, you'd have half that, wouldn't you? And this cost to go over that. So yeah, um, wow, I think that would feed ten people for a day. Should do. Um, that was interesting. I enjoyed that. Uh, like I said in the video, I think this is proper proper gear. This like this is you know, it's handy stuff to have, especially in a situation like what we're in now, where there's food, where there can be food shortages and stuff like that. I think this sort of stuff would be handy. Uh, putting this with my other supplies. But um, yeah, there's plenty of good stuff in there. I mean, there's stuff to make bread. There's stuff to make chicken, a chicken pasta there. There's sausages. Tea bags, pudding, you know, tins of meat, tins of cheese. I'm, I'm guessing in the middle of the field, the lads get given these and they just have to bang it together and make a meal, you know. But yeah, I don't think you go hungry with this. Like this is this is a good, good bit of food. Thanks for watching, guys.